city of Chicago isn't the only place where you can get chef-driven cuisine and craft cocktails. There's a lively new suburban spot that is hot on the scene, and trust me, they can rival any big city dining experience. If you're a city dweller, you might not make it out to the burbs very much. Or if you live in the suburbs, you might think you're destined to only be eating at chain restaurants. Well, no matter who you are, there is a must-visit spot now in Mount Prospect. It's called e &O Food and Drink, and it rivals any big city dining experience. e &O's motto, like its name, is to bring out the harmony of the earth and the ocean. And co-owner Aaron Lancero puts this motto into practice every day through its food and decor. Okay, Aaron, we need to talk about this. You were originally from Guam and then grew up in the Philippines. How did this influence your restaurant style? You know, I've always loved the hospitality business and being Filipino and being from the islands, we love taking care of people. So tell me, you know, means earth and ocean. How'd you come up with this concept? Tell me about the name. Well, the concept came from myself and my two other business partners. One who's a good friend of yours, mm -hmm. uh, my business partner, Chef Radelia Aglabot, a.k.a. the Food Buddha. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, his style of cooking, obviously him being Filipino and being from Hawaii, which there's some similarities to Hawaii and Guam, we were able to connect very well. Now, how did you and Rodelio come up with some of these menu items? Because there are so many dishes here that I've never seen anything like this before. The one favorite that I talk about all the time and now our signature item is the Brussels kale salad. We take Brussels, Brussels sprouts and thinly shave them and accompany it with kale, right? All those so super like Rodelio's like famous signature item. Exactly. All right, so what have we got next here? Next is the clam chowder. It's not your traditional clam chowder you see in most restaurants. Uh, definitely not. I've never seen clam chowder that looks like that. Yeah, and this one, we put a lot of pride into it because we make it to order. Okay. So it's not something that's pre-batched and made and kept in a hot warmer. It takes about six minutes to get out and guests love it. Obviously, we cook it with manila clams. Um, it's nice, thick, and rich, and comforting. And we top it off with a little olive oil and carrot oil to give a little more flavor to it. Carrot oil. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, what do we got next here? For my next two favorite dishes for sure is obviously things that are decadent is the bone marrow carne asada where never seen that before so that's incredible you take fresh flour tortillas <coughs> top it off with some tomato jam dig that spoon in there and then get that bone marrow carne asada and enjoy it with a little lime brilliant and then something that's close to our, myself and rod's heart is the crispy yeah. pata which is a filipino dish traditional, yeah, very traditional. it's pork shank uh, which first we braised for uh, eight hours to make it sure it's tender. And after that, we flash fry it. And it's accompanied with two traditional sauces. Okay, and what about this pasta dish? So this pasta is something that obviously everybody is enjoying this time of the year, but also the way that people are eating. Uh, they want to eat healthier. So it's gluten-free pasta that's tossed with summer vegetables. Awesome. And then for dessert, when it's all said and done, Ooh. it's our carrot pineapple cake. It goes on a sizzling platter. All right, it's um, baked, put on top, and then fresh cream cheese topping on top, and then candied pineapples and cherry compote. Unbelievable. All right, well, that will be the finish to my meal. Okay, now I got to talk about this bar program. So this is our Purity Q. It is four components in this. It is basically vodka, which Never we use Purity finished. Vodka. And because we made the drink for them, all right, they, they actually labeled the canisters and gave it to, to me. So vodka, lavender, all right, that we make a syrup out of, fresh cucumbers, and you always need a citrus to break it down, so we use lime juice. Got it. We put in this canister, and then we let it sit for two minutes, shake it up a little bit, and then you let the excess air out, and you see all of that component come out, and it infuses all the flavor together. Let me top off oh, the drink. cool. And there you go. <laughs> she got a little excited there. All right, by me. Let's try this bad boy. It is so smooth, it's so delicious. And then your patio scene. I mean, your patio is so cool. It's huge, and it's not just you know like table seating. You have like couches and a whole little setup out there. So tell me how you guys kind of infuse the patio scene into your summer. E and O, when you walk around, it's a beautiful place, so why stop there? If you're going to extend the experience outside your four walls, then make sure that it's designed in that manner. We have banquet seating and boot seating in here, so create that same element there. All of the things that we do, from the food to the drink and how we design the space, it's all about providing this experience that you'll never forget. 
E&O has proven to be one of the most desirable and delicious spots in all of Chicagoland. From their unique Asian-infused menu to their cool cocktails to their hot patio scene, this is worth the drive no matter what part of town you're coming from. Cheers.